lecture this morning by Professor Fernando Kukierman from the University of Buenos Aires uh, with the title, Varieties of Complexes and Foliation. Thank you. And, and uh, I want to thank the organizers for the, for the invitation and uh, to wish uh, Mauricio a, a, very, a very happy uh, birthday. Um, okay, my, my title is a, a, a Variety of Complexes and, and Foliations. I will start uh, describing a, a problem uh, on the theory of um, complex uh, singular foliations and um, and then I will uh, uh, explain, uh, define the, uh, the variety of complexes and state some, some, of, uh, some basic uh, properties. Complexes, I mean uh, the complexes that appear in, in homological algebra, so di differential uh, complexes. And, uh, and then at the end, I, I will um, explain the, the connection between these two uh, things. Basically, what I would like to show is that the, the moduli space of um, foliations of codimension one, which is the object uh, in which we are interested, is a, is a specific linear section of the variety of uh, complexes. So, so a variety that we, we don't understand well uh, it, it will be expressed as a, as a specific linear uh, section of a variety that we, we do understand well. So maybe that, uh, that will give some information on the um, variety of uh, foliations. So this is the idea, okay? So, um, okay, let me, let me start uh, writing down a differential form. We, we will work with the uh, differential uh, one forms in, in CN plus one, uh, the AIs are uh, polynomials, all of degree, all of the same, uh, 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 they, they will all be homogeneous of the same degree. The degree I, I will denote D minus one so that uh, the uh, omega will have a degree d. So um, uh, uh, for the degree of omega, I'm counting the d of, d of x size. Okay, so the total degree of omega as a one form, uh, I will call it d. Um, and then, um, mm, we, will, uh, uh, we will assume that the uh, um, this condition, so uh, this is zero. This, this means that the uh, contraction of, the, uh, uh, of omega with the ra radial vector field is zero, uh, which implies that omega uh, descends to uh, the projective space. And actually, it, it descends as a, it defines a, a differential, a twisted differential form. So um, it's, a, it's a section of the sheaf of differential forms twisted by by D. Um, And now we will look at, at the omegas that satisfy the Frobenius integrability condition, okay? So I will denote uh, FRD, the, the space of all such um, omegas satisfying this condition. So, um, I will think about this as, if we call this vector space uh, V, I will think about this as a, a subspace of, sub, subset of P of V. So I'm, I'm, I'm considering uh, omega non-zero 
and lambda omega being the same as uh, omega. Okay, so it's pr projective class of omega. Um, so this is an algebraic variety in this big projective space defined by these quadratic equations. So if, if you like, if, if you write down omega and you look at all the coefficients of, of the polynomials that define omega and the coefficients of these polynomials in this big uh, space of coefficients, which is this, uh, this define quadratic uh, equations. But more simply, you can just view it like this. So this is quadratic, homogeneous quadratic in omega. Okay, so this is a um, quadratic it's a, it's, a, it's a big collection of quadratic equations. And the, the uh, basic problem is to uh, describe the irre irreducible components of, of this uh, moduli space of integrable forms. Uh, basically, uh, the irreducible components, we can think about this as uh, 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 different types of integrable forms. So from a qualitative point of view, it, it, the problem is, has a motivation of considering different uh, uh, types of, uh, of uh, differential uh, in integrable uh, forms. So that, that's why it's, a, I think, a reasonable problem. Uh, okay, so let me just give an, an example of uh, an, an irreducible component. Uh, if, if we, uh, uh, one, one example of an irreducible component of FRD, these are the, uh, let, let me call it L, D1, DS, the uh, uh, collection of logarithmic forms, which are, which are the forms uh, uh, of, this, of the following kind. We um, forms that are written like this: lambda i, dfi, and here we multiply by f. F is the is the product of the polynomials fi. Here the lambda i's are complex numbers; they, they, they are the residues of this omega along the hypersurface fi. So these, these are complex number, numbers satisfying the condition, um, well, the, the, uh, sorry, the FIs are homogeneous polyno polynomials of degrees DI. So we are, we are going to fix, we, uh, to, to construct this component, we fix these integers, the one up to DS. We will consider all polynomials FI of degree DI. We construct this form, omega, the lambda i's also will vary, uh, only satisfying the condition that lambda i di equals zero. So th this family of forms, uh, um, it's easy to check that these forms are integrable, and um, it's a theorem that they constitute, that they are stable, they constitute an a, a irreducible component of, of um, FRD, where, where D is, uh, this, this R I, I meant uh, is N, you were in PN, okay? PN. Um, D, D is the sum of the, the I's. So this is one example of an irreducible, irreducible component. 
it's a theorem that this collection of uh, forms is, a, is an irreducible component. Uh, there, there are others, but uh, I, I will just mention this one. Um, there, there exist other uh, known components, but uh, we, we, we don't know all the, all the components in general. For example, uh, the, uh, to, for, to get more information about this, one may consult uh, uh, a uh, survey, survey notes by uh, Alcides Lins Neto. He, uh, he has some nice notes with, with a survey of the situation of this problem, okay? Um, okay, so this is, this is the problem. So I, uh, now I want to um, switch, switch a little bit and, and uh, define the variety of complexes, okay? So this is going to be a very simple and basic linear algebra. We will just fix, uh, in principle, this, uh, this part will be independent of, of what I said now, uh, here. This is the statement of the problem. Uh, I will discuss a variety of complexes for, for some minutes, and then, uh, um, and then I will uh, come back uh, and, and show the connection between these two, these two things, OK? Uh, the, we will uh, uh, fix some vector spaces. Um, so, uh, so vi is just c to the di, uh, just vector spaces over c of the dimension di, and uh, we will we will look at collections of maps like this. F1, F2, up to Fr. So the, the vector spaces are fixed, OK? But the uh, maps, there the will be linear maps. The Fi's are, are uh, linear maps. These are linear, uh, linear maps. And, and, this, and this will vary. So uh, basically, this is a, we can think about this as a, a point of um, the vector space, which is the direct sum So we, we think about this vector this is a vector space. let's call it U or something, okay? This is a vector space parameterizing all these uh, collections of maps. Inside this vector space, we will look at the variety of complexes. So we, we, I'll, I'll denote it C or C of V0, Vr. These are all the collections F as before, which are uh, satisfy the condition f, f square equal to zero. So uh, f, f square equal to zero. M more precisely, the composition of, of two, uh, f, fi and then fi plus one equals zero for all i. So this is a collection of, um, this, is, this is the variety of complexes, variety of complexes. And again, this is, uh, uh, these equations are quadratic. Uh, so think about the FIs are matrices not, uh, of some sizes. And um, this is a uh, bilinear condition on the coefficients of the FIs. Okay? So it's a huge collection of bilinear conditions. So this is, a, uh, it's a, again, it's an algebraic sub-variety of uh, U, and, we, and which is um, given by by linear conditions. So we we can we can, we, we may think about it also, uh, if you like, as um, in a projective way. In a projective way, we can think about it as sitting inside of 
the product of of these projective uh, spaces of matrices, okay? Since the conditions are bilinear, this is a well-defined um, sub-variety sub of this product of projective spaces. By the Segre embedding, we can think about this as sitting inside some bigger projective space, but but I, I don't want to do that. I, I can just uh, think about it as uh, this is a, as my ambient space for the variety of complexes. Okay. Um, so what, what I, what I uh, more precisely what I want to show is that the um, variety of uh, foliations is some a variety of complexes intersection some linear linear space. A L will be some specific linear space. E C and C will be a, a, a certain variety of complexes. Certain in the sense that I have still, still to choose the vector spaces on which the uh, C is uh, constructed, okay? A certain variety of complexes. But, uh, okay, one of the things that we, uh, uh, we can do, I want to show you now, is that the irreducible components of this variety C are easy to, to understand. And this, this variety C has a, a fairly uh, um, straightforward uh, shape. So we, we can understand it uh, fairly well. It's just basic linear algebra. And then we will just cut it with this linear space. Uh, it, 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 it's not going to be a generic linear section. It's going to be a specific linear section. That's part of the, of the problem. So we are not sure exactly uh, what happens with that particular linear section. but. Uh, in any case, I think we can uh, obtain some some information uh, on this variety from this representation. So now uh, I want to continue with the variety of complexes in general and, and tell you uh, um, some of the basic properties and and the um, well. I, I don't have to. I, what time do I finish? Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. So what comes now is, I, I don't even know if I should do it or not, because it's very easy, but uh, just to show you that uh, we can understand this C pretty well, let, let me just do some of it. Um, so when I, when I have a, a complex like that, as, as we usually do in, in homological algebra, we just uh, define its homology, the cycles, the boundaries, and so on. So let me just go through some of the basic numerology of, of that. Um, so if, if, I, if I have a, a F, a, a complex, so we, we, as usual, we define the boundaries is F, Fi of B i minus 1 is contained in the uh, cycles, which is the kernel of F i plus 1, and this is contained in uh, V i, and we define the homology as Z i over B i. This is, in, in our situation, these are all vector spaces over, over C, finite dimensional, uh, so we we have these exact sequences, okay? Uh, bi, zi, hi, and zi, bi, bi plus one, uh, uh, 
bi plus one. Okay, so this this is the the, the map uh, f uh, f i minus one. Its image is this, and its kernel is this. No. Uh, So, so, uh, so, from from here we we obtain that the bi this is the dimension of the boundaries um, bi plus one plus bi plus hi. equal to the di. So it's just adding up dimensions, we obtain that, that, that formula. And then uh, by, by easy calculations, we, uh, we obtain that the uh, information of the, B, uh, the bi's determines and is determined by the inf information of the hi's. Okay, the, the HIs, of course, is the dimension of, of the homologies and the BIs are the dimension of the boundaries. So knowing all the ranks of, this, of these maps amounts to knowing the dimension of the, all the homology spaces. So it's easy to write down the, the uh, transformation formulas for this. For example, uh, of course, if I, if, I know, if I know the BIs, from this formula, I, I know the HIs. So HI is the I minus BI plus one plus BI. And um, on um, uh, uh, the, uh, to, to obtain the BIs in terms of the HIs, the calculation one, uh, one does is, is um, is this uh, B, bi plus one is can be written like this uh, the the jth Euler characteristic of uh, d minus the jth, jth or, uh, Euler characteristic of h where by by this jth Euler char uh, characteristic uh, we mean dj minus dj minus one plus dj minus 2 up to minus 1 to dj d0. Okay? So is the, is the Euler characteristic up to the, up to the, uh, um, so from, from 0 up to j with the convenient uh, placement of the minus and pluses, okay? So the, this is, this is the, the way to obtain the ranks of the maps if you know the homology. Okay, that's, that's a, a very elementary. Um, now, inside, inside the variety of... Uh, let me just come here. Ins inside the... Uh, this variety of complexes will will consider the following set the the uh, c r r will denote um, tuple r one up to r um, n uh, these these are all the complexes such that the rank of Fi is equal to Ri. So we, we, we will fix the, the rank or the, the dimension of the boundaries. We, we will consider the complexes so that the dimension of the boundaries is, is a fixed uh, tuple of numbers. Okay? So uh, there is another proposition, again, fairly um, simple, which is that. Um, says the following, the condition that CR being non-empty, so which, which uh, collections of ranks are allowed is precisely given by 
by that formula, so the, the condition that HI should be bigger than or equal to zero uh, for a complex to exist means that RI plus one plus RI is less than or equal to DI for all I. So for each uh, um, for each sequence of uh, ranks, the allowed ones it will be the, the collection of ranks satisfying this condition. Okay, so I, I will call uh, R the collection of of all ranks which are uh, which have satisfied this condition. Okay. So it's a finite set. Uh, so this is this is the collection of um, CRs which are non-empty, and uh, well, uh, CR in this case is uh, is a, a smooth subvariety uh, of C of of uh, C of dimension equal to. So we have a couple of ways to express the dimension of this, of this variety. Uh, let me just write one of them. D, di minus ri, R, ri plus 1 plus ri. So you, you, you recognize formulas which look similar to dimensions of Grassmannians and things like this. So this variety of complexes may be thought like uh, very close to being a generalization of, of uh, of of, um, of a Grassmannian. Excuse me, I didn't understand the definition of RI. RI is a um, um, collection of, of numbers which which I fixed. Yeah. This, these are these are all natural numbers, okay? Uh, that's it. They are the dimensions of what? Uh, uh, I, I fix this uh, tuple of of uh, natural numbers, and then I, lo I look at the subset of of C. I call it C sub R of the complexes such that uh, this. Ah, okay, I'm sorry. The rank of FI is equal to RI. The rank of uh, FI is equal to RI for all I. Okay, so, so the, the, the co this collection in principle is arbitrary. We look at this uh, subset. And this subset is non-empty uh, when the, this collection of numbers satisfies this, this condition, okay? And in that case, uh, CR is a smooth uh, sub-variety uh, of C of this uh, dimension. And, um, and, and, and also, actually, uh, CR is, is, a, is, a, is, is a homogeneous space. Uh, is, is, a, is, an, is an orbit, so we have an action here of, of the group, of a, of a group, and these, these CRs are, uh, or, are the orbits of this action, okay? So let me just write down the action. So we, we so if we consider the, the group of uh, GL of Di. So we. Um, so if we, if if I have a complex like this, and I have um, automorphisms of Vr, I have automorphisms, linear automorphisms of the Vi's. Um, we uh, let me call it G0, G1. G2, etc. So this, that's an element of this group, G, G0, G1, up to Gn. Uh, so G acts on F by conjugation. Uh, so so, so we, we, we do G0, F, um, so, so we just, uh, we, uh, we just, uh, do this, okay? We just 
multiply by the, the um, inverse of this and then by this, left and right. So that's, that's the action. And uh, the CRs are the orbits. So it's a very simple situation. Uh, um, No, the, uh, uh, here, here I, I, will, I will construct from this complex and this sequence of maps, I will construct another complex. Here I will put uh, G0 minus 1, F1, G1. And here I will put uh, um, G1 minus 1, F2, uh, G2. And, uh, no, I'm uh, uh, yeah, okay. Is that right? I d did I do it right? Yes. I, want, I want the two things in the middle to cancel because I, I want to, to G0. Okay, so then the, the condition of complex uh, is, is preserved and, um, and it's easy to show that that uh, if two complexes have the same rank in all, in all places, then they are conjugate one to the other, okay? And then also we can work out uh, what is the closure of the orbits. So the, the, uh, another simple proposition is that if we take the uh, closure of, an, the, of this orbit CR, we will just obtain all the orbits CS for S less than or equal to R. So S less than or equal to R means that S I is less than or equal to R I for all I, okay? So this is also, so basically it just says that the, 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 um, the closure of the condition of rank being equal to R I is what, what, what one expects is all the F's such that rank of F I is less than or equal to R I. So it's, it's what, what you imagine that will happen. I mean, it's easy to check that all this happens, okay? Okay, so. Now, from, from this, we can, we, uh, we, we have a, a corollary, which is that the, the reducible components of C are the um, CR bar with R in R a maximal element. So let, let, me, let me call uh, R plus the, this finite set of maximal elements. You know, we have a finite set, and we just look at the maximal elements, and, and that's the irreducible components of, of, of C. So it's combinatoric and very simple. So we can, we, uh, this way we describe the irreducible components of, of this uh, variety, okay? Um, there is a nice example of, of, of this variety uh, when we also assume that the Euler characteristic uh, of, uh, is zero. So the alternating dimensions of, of this vector space, the sum of, alternating sum of the di's is zero. In that case, uh, we have one component which corresponds to exact complexes. So complexes where all the HIs are zero, uh, this, is, this is one nice uh, irreducible component of that, of that particular uh, variety of complexes, which I think is especially uh, interesting. Uh, 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 for example, the, the determinant of, of a complex is, can be thought as a rational function defined on this variety, the variety of exact complexes. It's a, it's a, it's a particularly an, an interesting uh, rational function of, of, of the, in this variety. 
Okay. So uh, now I will I will uh, to 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 try to go back to the um, foliations. Uh, um, I need to, I need to define another ingredient. So, so let me, for simplicity, let's denote uh, the space of k differential k forms in p uh, n. Um, sorry. Uh, k forms in p n twisted by by d. Let me just denote, denote this as omega k n d, and we we will we will construct we we, we will take the sum of the spaces over uh, over k and over uh, d. So k k here will will run from a, a zero up to a n, and d in principle is any integer. Okay. So so uh, this, this is the um, exterior algebra of p n, but also twisted by the degrees. Now in this. Uh, uh, um, this is, is, a, is a, a graded uh, by a, a algebra or by graded algebra. This is a by graded algebra uh, under the exterior uh, product of, of forms, but. Uh, what I, will, what I would like to use now is a definition of uh, Gelfand, Kapranov, and Zelevinsky defined uh, the uh, second, second uh, multiplication in the same set, okay? Which is is denoted like, they, they denoted like like, like a, um, a star, and is defined in the following way: omega one star omega two is um, is, a, is defined like this d1 over d1 plus d2, um, omega 1, which d omega 2, plus minus 1 to the k1 plus 1, k2 plus 1, um, omega 2, which d omega 1. So here, uh, uh, omega i um, belongs to uh, is a, is a uh, form of uh, degree uh, k i is a is a um, well we have two degrees right I mean d uh, i and k i. So, so uh, this is the product, the, the star product defined for homogeneous, by homogeneous forms. Then, then we extend by linearity. So, so this is the uh, product that will be uh, useful for, for uh, what I want to do. Okay, and A, a, a couple of uh, uh, simple remarks about this this um, 
product, uh, one remark is that the result of these two belongs to um, so this is a form of, of uh, is a K, K1 K1 plus K2 plus 1 form of degree D1 plus D2. The, the, according to my definition, the, the, the exterior derivative of a form is an operator of degree zero. So, so when you take the exterior derivative, you lower the coefficients, the degree of the coefficients, but you increase by one the dxi. So the total degree is the same. So the, the, the degree is zero. So this has the sum of the two degrees, which is this. And then, well, it's a, it's a form of type uh, k1 plus k2 plus 1. Okay, so uh, this is one thing. Uh, we have a, a graded commutativity of this, of, of this type. We have to write k1 and k2 plus 1 when we exchange the order. Uh, an important property is that this is, uh, is associative. It's a simple calculation, but it's an important property. And, um, and also, another thing that is useful for us is that if, if omega is a one form of degree, uh, of some degree, then omega star with itself is the inter integrability condition. So, so, in particular, omega is integrable if and only if its product by itself is equal to zero. Now, with, with, uh, with such an omega, uh, we will consider the multiplication by, by omega. Uh, since we have an algebra, we can just, we can just let me call the delta sub omega the operator of multiplying by, by omega in this algebra. Then by the, by the, by the associativity, when I um, square this operator, is the same as multiplying by omega uh, star omega. And this is uh, zero if and only if omega is in integrable. So, um, if, if we look at a, a portion of this, of this structure, if we just look at, uh, l let me just call uh, C sub omega and E, uh, I, will, I will call this the complex associated to, to omega. So, we have this multiplication in, in, by, in this by, uh, by graded algebra. But I'll, I'll just start from here. Uh, omega 1 e. Here I, I will fix some integer e, which doesn't have anything to do with the, the degree d of omega. Okay? I will fix, uh, sorry, I, I will, let, let me say it better here. Uh, let's uh, fix omega as before, uh, as in there, omega as a, a one form of, the, of degree d. And also, we just fix an integer e, uh, an, a natural number e. So for each e, I will construct a complex associated to omega, which, which will be uh, like this. Multiplication by omega, so this goes to omega 3 e plus d, and then goes to omega 5, e plus 2d. This is all uh, just by uh, applying this, this, pro this no, uh, um, what is it? Uh, this, this, this property here, okay? So it takes me, when k1 is, is 1, uh, 
uh, I have a 1 plus 1, a 2. It, it takes omega 2 to omega k, k2 plus 2, okay? It increases by 2. Uh, uh, and then we continue like this until we, we have the last, uh, the last one, which will be something like, uh, well, uh, after, after n, after the, the dimension of Pn, it will get zero. So this will start in, um, what is it? Uh, n minus 1 over 2 or something like this, right? With some, some number here. So this is the complex uh, associated to, to omega. And, and we, know, we know that uh, uh, this is a, it satisfies the con condition of being a complex if and only if omega is integrable. So that we, ca we, can, we can interpret this in the following way. If we now look at the map that goes, um, uh, I want to look at the map that uh, omega sends omega to uh, this collection, delta omega, delta omega, and so on. Let me just denote this collection is, is the complex C, C sub omega of E. So uh, uh, this, the domain of this is the space of all omegas, omega 1, D. I'll just take the projective space of this vector space and uh, this map, let me call it uh, just delta, uh, will go to a di direct sum of ohm spaces, like the ambient space of a variety of complexes, right? Omega, it will go to omega 2 uh, k plus 1, twist, twist it by something, and omega 2 k plus 3, over k. So uh, here we have the space of foliations. Um, yes, and d. And here we have the uh, variety of, of complexes on 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 these particular vector spaces. You see, the, the vector spaces are fixed now, right? And the the uh, the maps vary. Uh, and and all these can be. Uh, said as delta, uh, uh, um, this delta is linear and injective. So it's an embedding, it's a linear embedding of this vector space inside this uh, huge vector space. Okay? And then uh, when, when I pull back, so the condition of complex, I pull it back. And I, uh, uh, so, so a collection of delta omegas is a complex if and only if omega is integrable. So, so that means that when I, when I pull back the variety of complexes by this linear map, I get the variety of foliations. So this is, this is uh, 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 basically what I, what I wanted to, to show. What, what uh, time do we have? Okay, okay. So, so, so this is the observation I wanted to explain, and um, and the idea now will be to to try to uh, draw conclusions about about this construction. So, uh, so for example, it's important to to know if 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 we have, for example, um, a, a, a component of variety of of a component of a, uh, of um, variety of complexes, uh, generically all these maps will have a fixed uh, rank because, it, uh, because the, the rank conditions define the components of the variety of complexes. So it's interesting question to, to calculate these, these ranks in, in, in the known examples and, and then to see if conversely, if one fixes these ranks, uh, how many components do, do we have? So, but, um, for example, if, if we, as I said before, the irreducible components of C, we, we know them. These are the CRs for R in R. So when I, uh, when I intersect with this, with this sec linear section,
this will, will, is the same as intersecting, pulling back each irreducible component separately and taking the union. So, so the irreducible components of, of the variety of complexes uh, uh, should be, each of them should be an irreducible component of one of these. It's not clear, I mean, this is, this is irreducible, but it's, of course it's not clear that if this irreducible variety, if I cut it with the, with the linear section, which is not even generic, uh, uh, if it will be stay irreducible or not, that's not clear at all. But at least we know that each irreducible component, we, we have to find it in, in, in one, inside one of these. So maybe, maybe, that, that will, that maybe that will give some ideas on, on how to construct more more components. Okay, that's that's all I wanted. <laughs>